Here we have an ISO 594-1 figure 5 reference fitting. This reference fitting, uh, you notice I call it a reference fitting and not a gauge because it's not a gauge. Uh, a gauge would in and of itself be able to be used to see if this female lure fitting was to size or not. But this in itself doesn't do that. What this does is, well, what we do with it is we assemble it to the test fitting. We assemble the reference fitting to the test fitting. Now, I'm just putting them together very lightly and so, so they're just together. What has to happen now is that at the same time I have to apply 27.5 newtons of force and one I'm sorry, and 0.1 newton meters of torque without going past 90 degrees. So I, I put the 27.5 newtons of force and the 0.1 newton meter of torque at the same time. Alright, now granted I don't have a way of measuring with my hands the 27.5 newtons of pressure or the 0.1 newton meter of torque, which is why I recommend that you pick up the ISO 594 test assembly machine. You, you'll see that on the website. That does all those measurements and make sure that this is set correctly. If you put this together with more than 27.5 newtons of force and point more than point or and or more than 0.1 newton meters of torque or go past 90 degrees in your assembly, you're going to invalidate your test and well, you know, hey, Invalid test is invalid test. It's just not any good for anything. Um, but once you've got this assembled, you will then take it to uh, another machine. This is the eighth inch pipe fitting here, and you have to block off the hole through your lure fitting on this end, and then you will apply the additional tests that are required by the standard. And that's all there is to assembling these pieces but much better done again with the ISO 594 test assembly machine.